what's popping YouTube? It's your girl the Young Beauty back at it again with another tutorial. Today we're gonna be learning how to cut our crease and how we blend our eyeshadows seamlessly one on one. So if you want to see this video and how I achieve this look, then definitely keep on watching. For all of you that are watching and are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting on? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We'll wait. You're subscribed now? Okay. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell and like and comment on this video. And let me know down in the description bar below what type of videos you guys want to see from me next. And let's get into this look. All right, so I did my eyebrows off camera. If you want to see how I achieved these brows, I will leave a video up in the top to my current eyebrow tutorial. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyelids using my P. Louise base in room number three. And I do let that sit for a little bit just to dry before I blend it out. I find this gives me the most flawless finish. To blend out my base, I'm taking my Real Techniques shader brush and the number 308 to even it out. Now let's get into this blend. For my eyes, I am using my Juvia Places Zulu palette. This is the only palette I'm using on my eyes today. And I'm gonna take that purple shade first and I'm taking a flat brush and I'm going to start to pat that shade on. You wanna pat your shades on before you begin to blend them out because this gives you the ultimate pigmentation. I'm taking that orange shade on a Morphe flat blending brush. And again, I'm gonna pack this shade right on. You can pack either with a flat brush or a blending brush. It doesn't really matter, it's your personal preference. Now I'm taking that yellow shade on a fluffy BH Cosmetics 101 blending brush and I'm going to start to pack and swipe that shade just because this is our brow bone color and we don't want the pigmentation to be too bright on your brow bone. You want it to kind of blend into everything else. Now comes the time to blend. To blend out that orange shade, I am using a Morphe medium blending brush. It's not too big and not too small, so it gets right in that area. And I'm going to continue to pack that shade on and then blend in small circular motions. You do not ever want to swipe. That defeats the purpose. It is taking away that color and not adding it, okay? For that purple color, I'm using my Real Techniques 310 Essential Crease Brush. This is going to get directly in my crease. And again, I am packing it on and then blending in small circular motions to get the pigmentation that I want. And you're going to go back and forth with those colors just until it satisfies your needs of how you want it to look.
And a major tip when you're first packing on those shades, you don't want to pack the color too high because you still have to blend it out. So when you blend, you are going to push that shadow up as I'm doing now. So just be mindful of that fact too. This is our final blend. You want all those colors to look like one so you barely know where one stops and the other begins. Now comes the fun part, cutting our crease. So step one to cutting my crease, I take petroleum jelly, it could be Vaseline petroleum jelly, Walmart brand, it doesn't really matter as long as it's petroleum jelly, on a flat concealer brush, and I begin to mark out how I want my crease to look. This gives me trial and error portion instead of continuously having to fix your crease with concealer, it just gives you a better base. And as you can see, that line right there tells me where exactly I'm going to start my crease. And I just take a makeup wipe to wipe off all that excess product that we don't need. Now I'm taking my P. Louise base in room number two. And I'm going to begin to mark out my crease with slow thin strokes. And I'm going to drag that product down a little bit because I don't want it all to sit in one spot because it's going to take forever for it to dry and you don't want that. Now that everything is marked out, I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in the rest of my eyelid with that leftover base that is on my brush. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take that Real Technique shader brush that I used in the beginning to even out my base. So go ahead and remove all of that excess product and even out my concealer before I apply the shades on it because you don't want any cracks or any uneven tones. It will affect how your shadows will look. And now I'm taking that purple and I'm just going to blend out the edges of my concealer to bring that color back. And then I'm adding that pink shade just for a little extra pop. Now I'm going to take that blue shimmer shade on a small flat Morphe brush and start to pack that shade in my inner corner and onto my eyelids and I'm also going to be using that green and pink from that palette as well. My trick to blending shimmer shades is to start that second shade right on top of that first shade and then I go back after I've packed all those colors on and kind of flick them together just to make sure that they're extremely seamless. Now I'm taking my next vinyl liner and I'm going to draw just a kind of half a liner just to flick it out a little bit but I didn't want to do a wing because I feel like the wing would take away from the effect of the look and now I'm going to take my lashes from J Smooks and my lash glue from Desirable Cosmetics. This lash glue is definitely the best lash glue on the market right now. 
and their links will be down in the description bar below with all of my coupon codes so definitely go check them out So quick tip when I'm applying my lashes, I do put lash glue on my lash line as well. This helps it stick even better. But I hold my mirror at a downward angle just so I get the best view as I'm putting that lash on. This is the final eye look you guys. I'm absolutely in love with the way this eye came out. I'm going to do my face and I will be right back. To make my waterline pop, I'm going to add that purple shade and then I'm going to blend it out with that blue. Thank you guys for watching. This is the final look. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that bell so the next time I upload. And let me know down in the comment section below what's your favorite part of this look. And what you want to see from me next. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!